What is up, Aries? Welcome to Valkyrie Tarot. This is Vicky coming at you for your love and soulmate reading for the second half of September 2020. I hope you all have had a really good month so far. I know I have. Been back at work. Nine of Swords in reverse popping up. So that's telling me that something you've been really anxious about is kind of gone away. You're not having that nightmare card anymore. High Priestess in reverse, but you might not be following your intuition, okay? Just a reminder to follow your gut instead of, uh, you know, following things that might not be serving you spiritually. Two of Swords came out. So there might be a stalemate between you and someone else. You might not be talking to someone. Or you're trying to work towards having communication with someone. Why did that come out sideways? All right. Here we go, Aries. First card is you. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. So the Two of Wands in reverse is about making a choice, travel towards a destination, and the Chariot is over here for your loved one popping up. Um, so that is definitely movement. We're, we're movement. There's travel. So if you're at a distance from somebody, there's travel happening here. Energy between the two of you is the Ten of Wands. So whatever has been difficult or whatever burden has been carried, um, it's, it's almost over with. It's almost done. Like you're, you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel now at this point. The challenge between the two of you is the six of swords. So trying to sail out of rough seas into calmer waters, escaping a really tumultuous past and being able to move forward positively. Your blockage. There's that nine of swords again. So the nine of swords is what's blocking you. You're, you're all up in your head about something. You're really anxious about something. So, um, you know, the blockage might just be mind games that you're playing on yourself. Past situation currently influencing you, Aries, is the seven of wands in reverse. So you don't really feel like you need to stand your ground anymore. You don't really feel like you need to stand up for what you believe in anymore. And your loved one over here is in the six of pentacles in the past. So having an even give and take um, financial stability between the two of you or in this relationship, having a 50-50 in the relationship overall outcome from your point of view we have the world awesome so that's um that's a cycle coming to an end that's closure but it also again means travel so again if you are thinking about someone who's at a distance from you this is a good sign because that means that there's a closing of that gap coming outcome from your loved one's point of view we have the knight of cups in reverse so there's going to be some disappointment your loved one might be a little upset about something they might um be a little butt hurt i guess is the best way to say it or take things personally Overall outcome, advice, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. So Two of Cups in reverse can mean the breaking of a soulmate union. Um, so that's just something to think about for those of you that, that resonates with. Sun in reverse is the energy under the deck. So there's definitely an aspect of being unhappy right now. And we got to see why it's blocked. All right. What is this Two of Wands about here for Aries? What's this Two of Wands about? What's this Two of Wands about? the sun you want to be happy you just want to be happy you're making a choice to be happy okay making a choice to follow your happiness and then the fool card that's you popping up too the fool card in reverse is um someone who's not going to take a blind leap of faith you're going to do what's best for you you're going to put yourself first and foremost and uh you're only going to make a choice or a decision uh if it is what's best for you you know what i mean you're not going to rush into something. You're not going to take a blind leap of faith. Your loved one over here is in the chariot with the king of cups. That's scorpionic energy. King of cups is about someone who's very committed, very devoted in a relationship. And the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles can either mean codependent or it can also mean someone who is in a relationship. So this might be someone who you are currently in a relationship with, Aries. What is this ten of wands about? Ten of wands. Two of swords. So maybe you haven't been talking about this burden that you feel, one or both of you. Um, somebody might be keeping it to themselves. Yeah, because there, there's a lack of communication. Um, there's a lack of communication, and I think somebody does want to make an offer of commitment here, and they're holding back for some reason. you got two page energies. It's a young energy, but it's a stalemate. It's, um, it's almost like somebody doesn't know what to do. What's the six of wands? Sorry, six of swords about. What's the six of swords about? Yeah. 
the challenge is that somebody doesn't, somebody's just unsure. Someone's unsure about themselves. They're not brave. They're not, um, courageous enough to take that next step. And there's just this sense of regret that's just sitting and looming inside of them. There's just disappointment inside of them for some reason. What's, what's the disappointment? Ace of Wands, because they want a passionate new beginning, or they want a new start. Alright, so what's this anxiety card about? Nine of Swords. Page of Swords. Somebody is believing something that's not true. Maybe there's been a lack of forgiveness. Maybe some. Maybe you need to forgive yourself, too. Sometimes that Page of Cups comes up when you need to forgive yourself. Yeah. You need to forgive yourself, you need to trust your gut. Cancerian uh, Pisces energy there. All right, what is this seven of wands about? Knight of swords. Something was said and you, or something happened and you said something swift and blunt, but you no longer feel like you need to fight over it. Yeah. And your loved one over here is all in balance. Your loved one wants balance no matter what. That is, that's like in their past. They want balance. They, they're alchemizing what they want. They're literally creating what they want here. The world card closure to a heartbreak so if something has caused heartbreak for you in the past aries closure is coming for you yeah closure is coming and unfortunately i don't think that you're going to get an apology from whoever this person is that hurt you in the past love one over here is in the night yeah oh okay knight of cups so they might be all upset and everything but that ace of cups is now confirming that this is a new relationship this is, or a uh, renewal of a relationship there is love here the cup is full it is overflowing and it could just be that this person is learning how to love themselves too and there's that knight of cups so movement towards love and affection interesting so in the outcome to clarify the knight of cups in reverse we have the knight of cups in the upright and the ace of cups in the upright which means that this is a very fruitful loving relationship there's going to be excuse me plenty of emotion and open um, positivity in this relationship from your loved one's point of side. So the advice was the two of cups in reverse here. It's being clarified by the nine of wands. So the advice, the advice sometimes can be a choice to break up. If you don't feel like this is working for you, for those of you that that resonates with. However, what I'm seeing here is with the Nine of Wands coming over that Two of Cups, it's a call for if you are worn out, if you are thinking that maybe this isn't worth it, the universe is telling you, hold on. You still have one more go at you, okay? The outcome is that you are going to heal from whatever your heartbreak is, whatever your disappointment is. You're going to heal from that, okay? Your loved one over here, I mean, they're, they're a very loving person. They're a very balanced person. And they just, and you just want to be happy too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ace of swords. In reverse though. So there's a lack of communication. Queen of cups. Oh, someone's going to close off though. All right. All right. So, so <laughs> this is, this is what's happening. I'm seeing this as if, if there's a breakup, there's going to be a closing off of emotion. There's going to be a lack of conversation here. But again, you can rev up for a final go. That's that nine of wands. You still have a little bit left in your tank. And if you fight for this, if you fight for this, 10 of cups, a mo uh, uh, overall best complete emotional fulfillment. So if you want to fight for this, fight for it. And it will definitely offer you what you need. Three of cups. Be patient. Um, if it is what you want and you fight for it, it will work out in your favor. Your loved one cares about you very, very much just looking at the cards all around. Ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. The Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind, and not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversations, call, person, boundary, still angry. So something must have happened in the past with either this person or somebody in your life that is causing you to be irritated or aggravated. You don't want to talk about it. You've been hurt by them. Um, there's been a lack of communication in some way that is just causing some discomfort. Um, but your loved one over here, either this is a new person coming your way with that 
um, Ace of Cups, or it's a newer relationship, okay? Um, but there's movement towards emotion and commitment, and there's movement towards you, and there is devotion from that King of uh, King of Cups over here, and there is balance, and there is commitment, okay? So, uh, you know, take it as it resonates here, Aries, but hopefully it works out in your favor, all right? Hopefully this resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. If it didn't, that is totally cool. I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Till then, deuces.